morning, so it's here that we're going to have the dynamic slab, and uh, you just need to swipe in your card, as you did for the register. And the door is open, and the lab is going to be upstairs. Hi guys, Thank you. so here I am again on the lab, filming myself to do the vibrations lab. And so, basically, it's the thermodynamics laboratory, 1F105, we just open the door, and here it is. So let us assume that you are on test rig number two. So the thing I do is I go to my computer and I just log in with my student username credentials. Now, the first step of the experimental procedure is to disturb the mass from equilibrium and with the plunger not immersed in any oil, use the stopwatch and measure the time for 10 oscillations. Now, in this case, if you don't have a stopwatch, you can use this online application, which is www.online-stopwatch.com, which I am going to use myself. So, basically, first thing I do is to just slightly disturb the system. It doesn't matter the amplitude. And now I'm going to start counting the cycles by the time I push the start button. Remember, the first time I count must be zero. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I measured eight seconds and 42 seconds. Now I should do this at least, at least three times. So the next step is to do exactly the same, but now using an oil or something viscous to add damping. So what I'm going to do is to just remove the cup from this con container and I will rotate this and Introduce this here. Now my LVDT moved away. Center. I'm doing this with one hand only and by myself, as you can see. So, and now I'll do exactly the same. Just turn a little bit and do the same thing and measure the frequency using the same procedure. Once you are finished, just pick up a tissue and you should remove this from here again and yeah. clean it. Cover my container with it. Now I'm going to use the pico picoscope. So basically, on my desktop, I go to picoscope, double click on it, and it will open and start. I will say I don't want to help. Okay, maximize the window. And now I'm going to change a few settings. I'm going to change the number of seconds per division, let's say to two seconds per division. I have to change here to uh, Y axis amplitude, let's say to plus or minus two volts. Here DC I have to change for AC, and now I will disturb the system again. First I have to reset this. Okay, now the LVCT is measuring, so now I will disturb the system and start. And now I will observe here in my chart something happening. So I'm going to reset this, I'm going to stop by pushing this button. Stop capturing, and now I'm going to start again by click on Start Capturing. And there you are, I am measuring the oscillation that is happening at this moment. Quite slow and quite undamped, this free vibration. Alright, once I'm happy, I push the Stop button again. Now. To capture the information, I go to Edit, Copy as Text. Now, I go to the Start button, All Programs, Microsoft Office, and I'm going to open Excel. And now I just paste the information here. Now I can plot the data by selecting the two columns, Time and Amplitude, Insert, scatter and plot and there you are I have here all the information I need and I can actually go and select the things all right now just a piece of advice when doing this and when doing for the undamped free uh, system the one which does not have the oil uh, I would recommend that you use a long period of time signal to measure the uh, damping now to measure the 
spring stiffness? Well, that equation I give you for free, it's the most important of all in vibration. It's omega n equals the square root of k over m. So if you have the mass, which is written there on top, 997 grams, and if you have the frequency, based on the time that you measured for 10 cycles, it's easy to determine the stiffness, spring stiffness, that should be more or less 67 Newton per meter. I hope this helped. Um, and so, good luck. See you next time.